state I paid for this with my own money and it hurts me to pay for Apple products because they're so expensive so this is not a paid advertisement Apple is not sponsoring this video I chose to do this video because I wanted to show that yes even though I live a lifestyle that is different from the quote-unquote norm of societies and I live uh, on a homestead I try to be as self-sufficient as I can um, yada 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 there is still a place for technology that I don't shun technology I embrace technology at least I try to and I yes of course I'm trying to ride the coattails of the home pod invasion and try and get some additional views out of this so help me out guys it is another smart assistant in us with a speaker but it is also more than that in my opinion um, I think it costs 350 bucks which is pretty steep or just a speaker in a can um, really it's a lot more than that and there um, are a lot of things that I don't like about Apple products in particular. I don't like how closed of an ecosystem they are, meaning Apple only wants to work with Apple and not other brands or, or companies, whatever. That has its pros and its cons. I like and prefer more open setup uh, which Google tends to go toward but one thing that I do appreciate about Apple products is so far the limited experience of Apple products that I have has been I iPhones, iPads, the HomePod I think that's it and they're all quality products you get quality when you buy an Apple product I, I really believe that anyway we use the HomePod for homesteading related questions. Really all we could do is use the voice assistants and ask questions related to homesteading and then homeschooling and then music. And music is a big part of my family and uh, that's where the HomePod really shines I feel so without further ado here's all the kids hey Siri when did Mary Queen of Scots die Mary Queen of Scots died February 8th 1587 at age 44 hey Siri how do you spell dragon 
dragon. D R A G O N. Hey Siri, what's a square root? In mathematics, a square root of a number is a number y such that y2 equals a. In other words, a number y whose square is a. Shall I continue? No. Hey Siri, what is the needed temperature for cooking hamburgers? I can't get the answer to that on home pod. Hey Siri, what is the recommended internal temperature of a cooked hamburger? I can't get the answer to that on home pod. Why? Hey Siri, what's the best rabbit prefer? Afghan Kitchen on South Main Street in South Salt Lake is the best rated option I found. It appears to serve rabbit and averages five stars. It's open today, from 1300 hours to 2100 hours. Do you want to hear the next one? No! Hey Siri, when can I, when can I stop planting seeds? I can't get the answer to that on HomePod. <laughs> Hey Siri, how long are goats pregnant for? The answer is about 4.9 months. Hey Siri, what's the best chicken for meat? Tattles Bar and Grill is the highest rated option I see. It appears to serve chicken and meat. It's open today from 7 o'clock to 2100 hours. Do you want to hear the next 2, one? Hours. No thanks! We've asked Siri homeschool questions and homesteading questions. Now it's time to ask silly questions. Let's bring in the troops. Oh, that was Sarah's spot, Sam. <laughs> okay. Hey Siri, what's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. <laughs> How many cookies does each person get? See? It doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> nice. Your turn. Hey Siri, what does the fox say? Fred the cow, the cow, the cow, the cow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Sarah? Oh, what you going to ask, Sarah? What does the chippy say? Oh, you got to say hey Siri. Hey Siri, what does the chippy say? say hey Siri. Hey Siri, what does the chippy say? How much is the bill? What? <laughs> uh, Siri said, how much is the bill? She's crazy. <laughs> the bill is $1,000. I can't get the answer to that on HomePod. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, hey Siri, can you rap? Okay, here goes. I wrote this one myself. Apologies in advance to the Sugar Hill Gang. I said a hip hop, save me from the clippy, the peak, peak and pop, and you don't stop. Space rocket, to the oh. pong pong the doogie, say up jump the doozy, to the rhythm of the ontology. Oh brother. Any more funny questions you want to ask Siri? Hmm. Hey Siri, what does a human say? Modern humans are the only extant members of the sub-tribe hominina, a branch what? of the tribe hominini belonging to hey, the Siri, family. Stop. Well, what do you guys think of a home pod? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's see it. What do you think of Siri or what do you think of HomePod for helping you with your homework? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about HomePod helping you with homesteading? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I think like in the middle because it middle. could help you, but it is also like it's um, high tech. What do you think of HomePod when it comes to music? <laughs> thumbs down, Sarah. <laughs> you don't like music? I do. I think you love music. I like. I like nighttime music, but I don't like morning music. <laughs> okay. Hey Siri, play the soundtrack to The Greatest Showman. Sure. Here's The Greatest Showman by various artists. <laughs> hey Siri, turn it up really loud. Ladies 
and gents, this is the moment you waited for. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flying open. So tell me, do you want to go? I'm watching it come true. It's hanging over you. Do you want to go? <laughs> what is going on? I'm running out! Hey, Siri, stop! <sighs> okay, so what you just saw was basically us using Siri and Siri attached to a good sounding speaker. Um, Cause that's really all this is. It's Siri with a speaker, but it sounds freaking amazing. So if you're expecting more than that, if you're used to other home assistants, I think you'll, you'll find yourself disappointed. One thing that I am looking forward to is using this with uh, the home kit and attaching it to or getting a smart thermostat so that I can be down here and I can say the command to turn up the heat or turn down the heat and it will do it for me. I like that. Or turn on the light or turn off the light. That could be fun. We'll have to save up our pennies for those things because they're all expensive. We've used other uh, speakers before for playing music. Um, and connecting to our phones. This is a Braven brand speaker that we like a lot. It's got a battery inside of it. You can charge your phone off of it. It's portable. Uh, this Siri device, HomePod, it's attached to a cord. One of the biggest things that I don't like about it. It's not portable. It has to be plugged in all the time. Uh, but I don't know. Brought my beautiful wife here to give her review as she's used it throughout the last week. We've had it for about a week now. What do you think? You know, um, my biggest issue with getting one of these was I didn't want something spying on me, but then I thought about it, I'm like, but my phone spies on me. So yeah. really, what's the difference? Yeah. Um, I love, I love, I love the aspect of the speaker. Um, as Jonah said, we um, music is big in our family and having my phone attached to the, is it Braven, mm -hmm. um, is nice, but it takes my phone away and then I, the kids get frustrated if I don't, um, tech, if I, if I text somebody or if I use Marco Polo, which I can't do the speaker right. too. So I really enjoy having my phone back. Um, and I get really agitated and frustrated when I'm trying to do something, then I have to stop what I'm doing to ask a question um or something and this the siri is just right there and i just have to say hey siri how many cups is in an ounce or that's not right but you know what i'm saying the other way around how right. many ounces in a cup is in a cup and so then i don't have to stop and my fingers are dirty and i'm frustrated and so i'm really excited for that that aspect of it that it will cause less frustration to get answers quickly right we have a little visitor <laughs> we tried to do this while the kids were going to bed all said and done, I've really enjoyed it. We really, it's a great sounding speaker. If you're an audiophile, I think you'll appreciate it. All the reviews that I've read from audiophiles uh, say that it's the best sounding smart speaker out there right now. It's really nice. It is really nice. It'll fill the house with some good sounding tunes. And I can't wait until they allow uh, multiple to be connected and, and all that. but And it's stupid easy to use. I do not like the electronic train. <laughs> I struggle. And I like how easy it is to use. Yeah, you can tell it to set a reminder. You oh, can... Yeah. How many how many quarts of milk have I frozen? Because I forget they're in the freezer. And set so I can timer. just say, hey Siri, set a yeah. timer. And, and it goes off. I love it. And I can even set a timer while the music's playing. It's so multi-purpose. It is, like and the it. kids have really enjoyed it. They mm -hmm. they love to ask Siri anything and everything when they have a question. Yeah. It's uh, it's crazy, you know. I used to think, oh my gosh, we could Google anything. Well, now we can just ask a speaker anything, <laughs> and uh, so that's our review. Yes, we find it helpful on a homestead. I think anyone could find it ho helpful in any environment. Is it for everyone? No, it's not. If you uh, value your privacy quite a bit, you're not going to want a smart speaker. But if you have a smartphone, your privacy... Yeah. <laughs> so, 
That being said, <laughs> thanks for joining us on this crazy adventure we call homesteading. Hopefully you find this review helpful, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Ready for bed?